somebody out there trying to sabotage your life. They could be trying to sabotage your house, your vehicles. Just sabotage. This person was sent to you, into your energy to sabotage you. To cause conflict and chaos into your life. So let's check out some energy. Find out why are they trying to sabotage you. Now this ain't going to fit for everybody. It ain't going to resonate with everybody. Take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. This is for entertainment purposes only. Okay. If you would like to donate to my channel, the, the information to my Cash App and my PayPal is at the top of my channel. If you'd like to energetically donate to my channel, just do that by hitting the thumbs up button. This is a way to purchase a ticket to the Karmic Circus by hitting that thumbs up button. Okay. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors of the highest, brightest, purest light, showing your energy. Oh, a lot of energy out here. So many energy of why they are trying to sabotage the collective. Why are they trying to sabotage the collective? Why are they trying to sabotage the collective? Because you deserve some sort of reward that they don't want you to have. Somebody is trying to sabotage your relationship. Okay. They're trying to sabotage your finances. They want you to be um, scrapping for change. This is somebody who who did you dirty, and they they watched you sail away. They watched the ship sail away when it came to you. Okay, some of you could be a teacher. You could be teaching this person a lesson by walking away and letting them see you walk away. Somebody said, watch my ass as they walk away. It ain't me because I damn sure ain't got no big ass. Somebody said, watch their ass as they walk away. It ain't for everybody. So, the way that people are trying to sabotage you, you could at, you have people at your job. Some of you may be construction workers, blue collar workers. It's like an energy of somebody out there doing some foul shit and wa watching you leave, but they got shades on. So they got some things hidden. This person could wear glasses. They could be a teacher. I also see the energy of a miscarriage. Or abortion. Somebody could have got a uh, terminated a pregnancy because they they can't afford to have a, a child, and the child's father is not in their life. This was a way that somebody was trying to sabotage somebody. Okay, sabotage you by getting you pregnant and leaving you to raise a child by yourself. That's sabotage. Because God the Most High could have had something planned for you. 
Tell me more about the sabotaging energy that's going on around some of the collector. See, some of you may be scrapping because of a person. Somebody could have had a miscarriage because of a person. Some Somebody could, you know, you could be a teacher and it could be because of this person. They could have did some shit that made you start going to school to learn some things. Somebody has an energy where they broke up your, uh, sabotaged your relationship. Could be a Leo energy. Here's a storm warning. That if you didn't got out of the storm, don't go back. Tell me more about the storm. And when I look at this this strength card, it reminds me of Lion Country Safari. Lion Country Safari. That used to be uh, here in California. If you heard of Lion Country Safari, look it up. If you haven't never heard of it, uh, I went there with my school when I was little. And you get to, well, then you the, the lions will come up. I'm too scared to, to shit as much shit I be seeing what be happening on them videos. Them, them the lions and them shits be getting through them vehicles. They don't be proof. You just sitting there in an open, in an open thing. No windows and shit. And thinking them motherfuckers, don't they know those are giant cats? <laughs> my cats sit all on top of my car, my van, my truck, all of that. So what makes them think? That them big ass lions can't jump up on top of them little safari cars. They crazy. Okay. And anyway, yeah, I see Lion Country Safari. I see uh, a teacher out here. I see some lovers that's not talking right now. I see somebody scrapping for change. I see somebody uh, standing on a, a, a pier or a dock somewhere. Could be leaving. I see a suitcase. Somebody secretly leaving. Somebody is going through a storm. Okay. Something they did that somebody didn't forget and they got cut off. narcissist this is a man who has money and he's he's he'll uh in the beginning he'll shower you shower you with gifts and everything and then um when you tell him no see he, he sets you up you gotta watch out for those people that come in your life real quick and then they start wanting to do a whole bunch of stuff for you all at one time they just doing this and doing that giving you money splurging on you and all of this shit it's a setup i'm telling you don't accept that shit I'm telling you, because they're just setting you up with all of these, you know, things that they're doing for you because they're plotting and planning to use you in some sort of way. They'll even buy you a car and make you think that car is yours. But this wealthy man right here, if he bought you a car, he's only buying it for you to be running his friends and family up and down the street, taking them to all of their places to where you can't do what you got to do for yourself. But the car was for you. The minute you tell him, no, you can't take his cousin to the, the appointment because you got an interview, he going to either, uh, like he was filling the gas up, he going to stop doing that. He was only doing that. He wasn't doing it for you. He was doing it for his friends and family so he can brag. Yeah, man. Yeah, I bought her that car. I fill the gas tank up for her every way. Sure, she'll take you. Yeah. Shit, I paid for that motherfucker. She better. That type of shit. So I'm saying you better be careful. Be careful with those type of energies with narcissists. And then stopping what you do because they'll buy you that car and you'll have a car. And you'll sell yours because they'll buy you a new car. Then when they get mad and you ain't doing what they want you to do, they'll take the keys from you. Or they'll sabotage the car so it ain't running no more. Okay? I'm just That's just, I don't know who that's for. Not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Okay, this is somebody's main male. He, he he wasn't your main male and he kept flipping out until you just made him your main person. This is a narcissist. Mm-hmm. 
If they don't get their way, they flip out. They don't have to flip out all yelling and screaming. No, they flip out in, in covert ways. They flip out in ways that you don't think it's going to hit you. you They've been and hit you with something and you don't even realize it yet. Until this happens, until something major happens, then you're like, oh, damn. He did that shit because of whoop de whoop That's how they do. Okay? And he's the heart of your energy, sweetie. I'm sorry. And you could be a teacher. Yep, he's a snake. And this is somebody who's returning back to you. And they still dealing with their ex. Okay? This person is a snake and they have multiple partners. And they were sent to your life to sabotage you. This person could be a Leo. This person could be an Aquarius. Or you could be an Aquarius or a Leo. I also see fire out here. I see water out here. I see air. I see all of them. I see um, Earth too. So for some of you, this is a narcissist. You cut off because you found out they were still dealing with their ex. So let's <coughs> let's get some more. Now they're going through a storm. Okay. So show me the energy going on between this, this narcissist and his ex. What is the snake energy between this narcissist and their ex? What is the narcissist energy? Somebody made an unwise decision. There's unwise decisions going on between them. Between him and his ex. Now somebody is in despair. And this this is a karmic ex, okay? She's a karmic. She could be his ex-wife. Yep, this is his ex-wife. If you're a female, this ex-husband, okay? Take away resonating. But they're in despair. They could be trying to message you right now. Yeah, they're trying to message you right now because they're trying to return, but they're still dealing with their ex. Mm hmm. And you could have found this out and had a and terminated a pregnancy by this person. Some of you terminated a pregnancy because you you uh you you can't afford it. Others of you terminated pregnancy because you found out this person had he had multiple partners. Somebody is in despair because they made an unwise decision when it comes to a marriage ending or a mar uh, ending of a marriage. Divorce papers. Somebody don't want to sign some divorce papers. They got them and they ain't paid to sign them. And the universe don't like this. Nope. No, they don't. Tell me more, spirit. So this, this narcissist, you cut him off because he's still dealing with his ex. If he's returning, he's going to come back. Okay, here's a house in reverse. You could have been living with this person. You could have moved out from this person because you dealt, or they could have been living with you and you kicked them out. Okay, tell me about this house in reverse. Now, this could also mean somebody, your house could be upside down with a lot of chaos and fights and shit going on. <clears throat> it could also mean um, you could be moving or relocating, getting some more furniture. Um, taking furniture out, stuff like that. Spell work right here. And it's right up under this snake. See, this snake, this narcissist, whoever this person is, they got money. Okay? So don't let their money suck you into their little trap. Because that's what they're going to do. They're still dealing with their ex. And they'll come and try to love bomb you and give you money and buy all of these things. And want you to accept that they're still dealing with their ex. 
and they're going to keep trying to buy it from you, you will accept it because you like the money. Stop doing that shit. You're selling your soul to this person. The devil. And look at that. This is, this is, they know that you're going somewhere in life. And they were sent to you. This person is a snake. Okay? You see this snake? That you need to cut off. Somebody may just cut their hair. You ain't gonna cut them off. You're gonna just go cut your hair to make them mad. The fuck you gonna cut your hair for? I've been there and done that. Shit, that ain't doing nothing. That ain't making them mad. They just looking at you. You cutting off your beauty. You cutting off your strength. Cutting your hair because the motherfucker is acting some sort of way. Fuck them. Shit. If anything, let your hair down. Don't cut your shit off. Let your shit down. And shit. It is what it is. Let your hair down. Change. Make a change for yourself. Fuck them. Okay? Fuck whoever this is who did, who's doing this shit or did it to you. Put it in the comments. You can't put fuck them. Oh, you guys, you YouTube have a lot of uh, rules and stuff. So when you put in the comments, I can cuss on here. But when when you don't see your comments, when you being to put a comment and you don't see it, it's because something you said that YouTube won't allow me to put it on there. And if I if I do put it on there, I'll lose my my payments and my my little monetization. So y'all, I know y'all mad. Put put instead of writing the whole word out, write write something where put exclamation points in between instead of the actual word. If you want to let me know how pissed off you are. Like, I can't even type in pissed. I have to type in P-I, um, cash, 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 the cash symbol, okay? Stuff like that. Because YouTube and their, their, uh, all of the stuff that they have to do for you to keep, keep my channel going and to keep my subscribers. It's not, it's not me not responding to your, to your, uh, to your messages and your chats. It's not me blocking it. It's, it's, it's YouTube doing that. And then when I did, you know, I don't care about y'all cussing. That'd be like, I'll be laughing. But see, when I started accepting it and checking it in, I started getting, um, I can't think of the, all of the words that they use for the shit. But uh, the, the something content that I shouldn't allow on my channel and all that. So y'all got to keep it clean for me. Okay, I can cuss. Okay, I can cuss, but and when you say certain things, you know they have the algorithm paying attention to everything you you type in. So yeah, just I don't. It ain't me. It's YouTube. Okay, so um, somebody don't want to sign some divorce papers. They didn't got the divorce papers, and they don't want to sign. But you're moving. Okay. Yeah, this is why this house is in reverse. You're moving out. Somebody is moving away from a narcissist. You could be going back to school. You didn't got your degrees or award or something. Somebody had a miscarriage. You ended the relationship with this masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Universe didn't like them. And this person sat and they over our energy. The main energy is that they watched you walk away. They did all of this shit and they watched you walk away. Now they're going through a storm. And he ain't talking, this this narcissist, he ain't talking to nobody. He got he only talking to one friend. He got a whole a whole community of motherfuckers he hang around, but he ain't talking to him right now. No, he not. No, he's not talking to him. Cause you done left. He ain't got nothing to gossip about. He didn't put no toilet in labor. Any relationship with you and him? Mm -mm. He created all sorts of blockages. And see, this is what I'm saying, where it's, where it's say, um, occupation in reverse, don't you, don't you quit your job, don't quit your job. See, he'll be giving you, oh Lord, please, thank you, spirit. See, this person will be gifting you all sorts of gifts and shit for you to quit your job. This is a narcissistic, one of their tactics, get you to get, to get you codependent on them. Then when you're not doing something they want you to do, you're going to be walking around not able to do nothing for yourself. Okay? 
So don't quit your job. No matter how many gifts they tell you, how many times they tell you. And if you got your own house, confirmation. If you got your own house, don't leave your house. If you go spend a night or you go live with them, don't you sell your house. They'll tell you, oh, you can sell your house. That's because they know you have a you have gifts and you have assets. And they'll make you, you know, manipulate you into getting rid of your assets to where you you spend your money up and then you dependent on them. And you didn't spend it and with your assets, they'll be the one trying to tell you how you should spend this and spend that, telling you what you should do. But in the meantime, they're saving their money. They're holding their money. They're not telling you anything. Don't let this motherfucker come in here and tell you how to how to function. And this could be why it's a it's a you divorcing their ass. Okay? And they don't want to sign the divorce papers. They didn't put no toil and labor in the relationship with you, did they? What did they do? Damn sure ain't no true love. Show ain't came out here. Let me see if I see any cups out here. Cups in reverse. Cups in reverse. Cups in reverse. And the only cup that's up is, is you, like, thinking about walking away. You better walk your ass away. All right? Because this is a snake. And, and the fact is, this is not this is not nobody who you with now. Okay? This is not nobody who you're with now. This is somebody you've been with before. And they're returning. They're trying to come back to you. And they're going to come back either with a new car, new motorcycle, new bike, something new. Whatever it is they do, it's going to be new. If it's fresh, new, fresh haircut, uh, some new cologne on or something. Um, some new shoes. They're going to come back with something new to make you believe that they've changed. But a snake don't change, baby. It only sheds his skin. And he's trying to come back. And this is a money-hungry, greedy, controlling, narcissistic-ass person that's still dealing with their ex. And their ex in them is tied up in some sort of spell work out here. This is magic and manipulation. Now his ex could be manipulating him and he's trying to manipulate you. But he's still dealing with his ex. Now that ain't for everybody, but it's for somebody. He could be your ex. You could be the ex. He he you could be the ex and he could be could have uh put you in a third party situation. With a snake. Okay. You could be the ex-wife. The ex-girlfriend. The ex-baby mama. Everybody in your community may know you. And this masculine energy. This this wealthy man in reverse. Is a narcissist. He could be the snake. You could be the ex. You could have cut him off. It's a feminine energy. And she's a karmic. Now just because you're a karmic. That don't mean that you. Every karmic is different. You could be a karmic that's. Just teaching this man that you you the one that ain't gonna, gonna go for the shit. You can be that type of karmic. You know, teaching him a lesson. Okay? Or you can be the bitter baby mama. The bitter bitch baby mama. The baby mama that busts the windows and starts fights and all of that. That's that's toxic karmic. Okay? But somebody cut somebody off. And you cut them off and... I see you learning more about spirituality with all of these books. You're getting more knowledge on the situation. Some of you divine feminines are working hard. Even though some of you may have made miscarriage, my condolences to you. If you have suffered a miscarriage. And you know what I say about, uh, think about the person who you had the miscarriage by. You may be with them now. And you, this may be have happened in the past, but... Just, just think about this energetically, metaphysically, spiritually. You had a miscarriage. Who was you with? Was you in despair when you was with this person? Did this person have a job? Were they able to take care of you and the baby? Were they faithful to you? Were they of a divine energy? Were they loving, caring? 
Did they show you, you know, gratitude for the things you did for them? Did they show gratitude for you even giving them the chance to use your body as a vessel to grow their seed inside? If you had a miscarriage, this ain't the one, okay? If you had a miscarriage, some of you may be blaming yourself saying, I had a miscarriage because you drank something <gasps> with the alcohol, with the cups out here. It ain't, it, it's not that. It's God, God the Most High knows that this person wasn't right for you. The marriage is over. He wasn't going to let you have this baby. Mm -hmm. Because you have something you're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. And this person, you know, their, their, their body was an opportunity for a spirit to come to attack you in the spiritual realm. Okay. But I see that you're strong. Now, with this person watched you walk away, this can go both ways. You, you could have seen and found out about him and his, him still dealing with this ex and he could have been the type of energy like this narcissist, like telling you basically you deal with what I'm doing. That's my child's mama or this or that and that and this. I'm going to still deal with her, that type of energy. And you said, no, you not. You watched their ass walk away. You watched him and his relationship with that little ass boat float away. You watched it. Okay. And you began working hard on yourself. You may be a construction female. Okay. Blue collar. This is Lion Country Safari to me. You see people with them shades on, and this could also mean somebody was hiding something, okay, from you with them shades on. Yeah, this is, they was hiding. They, even though you got the shades on, you still could see, but they was hiding shit from you. They was hiding the fact that they were still dealing with their ex. They could be a Leo image, or you could be a Leo, but you seen through it, and you, you had strength to carry on. You stopped having sex with this person. You stopped being intimate with them. And this is another like marriage card, the lovers. But don't they look like they just got married? Look at that third person up there. That could be somebody, one of your friends or somebody, is somebody who was watching your relationship a little bit too close. Mm -hmm. And it could be their ex. You may not have known it was their ex. They could have told you this person was somebody else or they didn't know them or something, but they were secretly dealing with them. That's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. Okay. So I'm going to stop this reading right here. And if I gave you any clarification then please put that thumbs up for me and put it in the comments. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel. All right. Peace.